Caddis Maximus here. Just showing people the inside of this big LED clock. It has a pretty big, cool circuit board. These aren't the original fasteners. Let's get some lights on here. The original fasteners were very strange on this. I thought this thing was actually surprisingly well built, except for the fact that all the screws... <sighs> this thing had about 10 different kinds of screws. It was really weird. It was like they ran out of screws, and so they just went hunting around different bins, getting whatever random screws could <laughs> actually work. The way the frame is designed in this, it's a little funky because you have to use these short little screws, but it's not something that you really fiddle around with much. Uh, there is 10 screws holding it together, and that's not too bad either. And there's our 10 screws. And there's our unit. There's just nothing but the traces on the back side. And of course the power connector. And the buttons are right there. There's the buttons. And I thought, you know, since it has a black circuit board, there's the button cell for the battery retention. It looks like you could actually have two LEDs to so the AM and PM. But you might have to change a resistor somewhere so there's more power. Uh, you can see all these different transistors. Those are just so that the driver can control all the load of all these different electronics. Obviously, there was some kind of... This board had multiple units on it. Uh, it may have been also at one point had uh, the power supply built in instead of using an external 12-volt brick. Otherwise, it's just pretty basic. Um, and it would actually look pretty cool uh, by itself without the case. Just so you guys could see what was inside one of these things. You know, each one of these character panels have to have its own driver chip, and then there's your quote unquote processor. It's probably a PIC. Uh, a PIC is like a real basic kind of reprogrammable processor just for running things like clocks and coffee makers. So, anyway, just wanted to show you guys uh, the inside of this unit. Um, and if you get the nice one, which was kind of random for me. This is an actual metal case with a glass base that's been silk screened. So, and then they oddly enough, we'll get a better zoom. Maybe not that way. God, I don't know why I can't get in. There we go. They use like caulking to glue the glass in there. So, odd. Okay, thanks for watching. Catus Max this out. Please subscribe.